disturbing spicy. Disturbing the neighborhood. I'm not disturbing the neighborhood, yes, man. It's you literally. It's 12 o'clock. I don't think anyone's sleeping. It's not You're a big not deal. I literally just, here. it's not a big deal. I'm right behind there. I literally just go right there to jump. It's not a big deal. I don't know it why you're- It's a big deal because it's private property. Why do you care, dude? Like, it's literally 12 in the afternoon. Like, don't you have a job to do? These guys aren't hurting anybody. Like, I could understand if they are, like, absolutely, like, shredding the lawn and, like, that's your lawn and you're like, dude, like, do not shred my lawn. But I don't think this is even your lawn. Because you're crazy. You're acting crazy. It's not a big deal. This is you're not even All right, so what'd you rather? Uh, first off, I'm pretty sure he is allowed to videotape you because he did blur out your face, so there you go. And yeah, I mean, like, just like let the dudes play with the bikes, man. Okay, give me my $16 back. However, you can figure that out, or there's gonna be help. Okay, I'm gonna They just took $16 from me. I can't hang put hang it back on my car. The earring broke be, in I my know, ear. Okay, yeah, like, that's just like too much. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why we need to be taking it out on the person who sold it to you, you know? It's like, can we not get on a collective goal and be like, yo, let's work on this together because these earrings suck, man. I know, you're a customer, but hang on, can you please don't, don't make me a voice or hire. I'm so nervous for now. I'm upset. I'm violated that this broke in my ear and I can't get my $16 back. Yeah, like I feel bad for that person. Like I'm so nervous right now. Like I don't know how to do with this. Like that sucks being the person behind the counter and having to have somebody just like scream at you. It's just like don't buy $16 earrings. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, like these crappy earrings broke. Like, yeah, duh, they're 16 bucks, dude. They have the right. It's only two I don't think you need to go through this every time you try to participate in society. Like, clearly you're participating very wrong. Like, you are not participating the way that everybody else is supposed to be participating. Bring it down. Bring it down. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. I'm glad that you know the law better than I do, coming up from a freaking police officer, dude. I'm glad that you know the law better than I do. Okay. Maybe that's an ish you and not a not an ishy not an ish us. Wow, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> but I'm gonna stick with it anyways. I I really can't get out. I'm sorry, my mom's inside. I can't. I really can't, I'm sorry. Called, I didn't do anything. I, I, I can't, I'm sorry. Yo, that's messed up, dude. Like, in her parking spot that she doesn't own? Yeah, I don't think so. That sucks, dude. And like, if I'm that person, like, I'm literally like, I can't do anything, lady. Like, I don't have the keys. And I wouldn't want to get out either, because I'm like, you're probably gonna throw hands if I get out of my car. But at the same time, like, I can't have you just smacking on my vehicle right now, lady. Like, I would have called the police on her, not the other way around. Like, you gotta call the police on her doing that to you. Oh, oh, this is a walk. This is a power walk. She's going. Holy crap. No. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what she's yelling about, guys. <laughs> like, I couldn't get any, like, logic or, like, sense out of that. All I heard was just, like, that, like, guttural roar, like, coming from her, like, and that walk, like, that evil, like, like, that is insanity, man. Like, how are you ever that angry about anything in your life? Like, I don't think I've ever been that mad about literally anything, like. <laughs> I went and spent an hour in the store you getting your phone. It. You shouldn't have Wait, done Wait, Alice, are you mad about getting an iPhone? It's a three. Man, now that I'm like, <clears throat> like, I guess like I'm kind of like becoming an adult. I guess like I'm not a kid anymore. I'm 23 years old. But it's like I look at this and I'm just like, damn, that sucks. Like I feel for that mother who just like spent a full hour in the store, got her kid a phone. Granted, it was a three, but I don't know when that video came out. Get out of here, man. Like selfies aren't that cool anyways. Like at least you have a phone. Say that. 
If you had something to say to me, ma'am, why didn't you just talk? Because I don't have a face mask on. You just hit it. Bring me up, please, right now. I think your manager told me that I needed a mask next time I came in here. That's all that was said to me. You approached me, and the very first thing you said to me was, if I refuse to leave. I'm in line to leave. And that came out of your mouth. Huh. I, I heard her at the end there, like if she was fully like walking out, or if the manager did come up and say like, hey, like, you gotta have a mask. I think your manager told me that I needed a mask next time I came in here. And then as she was leaving, this guy comes up and is like, you gotta get out now. Like, I could understand how that would piss me off. Like, I'd be like, dude, like, I'm doing it right now. Like, I, I just got told by your manager, like, chill. Give me my coffee. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and have a coffee. Give me my coffee. It's not, not about it's about the law. Okay. It's Okay. Yo, I mean, I, I know it looks like they're like beefing about masks again and stuff, but like, I feel that guy's energy in the car. I'm just like, I need my coffee. Like, give me my coffee now. I'm not taking my card back. I need my coffee. Like, card, coffee, coffee. Uh, I'll be honest, guys. I, I'm grumpy if I don't get my coffee for completely other different reasons than that. But who the hell had the bright idea of taking all your damn fire trucks down our residential street? Uh, because I think they need to go somewhere, you know? Like, I think they, they probably have to drive a place, and your road happens to be the quickest road to get there. In the middle of the day, scaring the sh with all the neighbors. You know, it's like, this lady's literally like, like, you're scaring me because you got fire trucks driving down. Like, I don't know what they're doing. I'm not, I don't even, maybe this is like, like a, some sort of procession or something. I'm not sure. But it's like, do you own this road? Just like, let the road do the road things and you live in your home, you know? Have this ugly orange fence up. And right on cue, crazy neighbor comes outside. Zoom in a little bit, there, there you go. Hey, crazy Karen, how are you today? I had to put this fence up because she, no joke you guys, chased my dog and I with a pitchfork the other day. When the city comes out and does a land survey and lets her know that that whole green area is ours, she will have 24 hours to remove those plants. Chop chop! This is at a level of aggression that I don't like to be at, you know? And the thing is, we only heard one side of the story there, folks. Like, that other person's filming right now and probably like talking into their camera and saying like, this person did this and this Karen did that. So I'm not sure. Based on that story though, like, why are you chasing the, the dog? You know, like the poor dog. I, I hate it when the animals get involved, guys. That the pizza says ready on my pizza track. <laughs> oh God. So if it doesn't come out to my car in two minutes, I get a free pizza. Hey, I mean, if that's the rule, like if that is the rule, if I don't know what Domino's has going on, but like if they say like, if it says ready and it's not ready, like I get a free pizza, like I would also be saying like, hey, like, Get on it, guys. Like, I, I want my free pizza. I don't know if that's the rule or not. Like, probably it isn't when she's just freaking out over nothing. Um, I don't have to wear this. Yes, you do. Um, no, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. It really says on the door that you Where? need to put it on. Where? Show me. Right there. I don't, I don't have to see anything. <laughs> Where? 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 I'm just gonna crunch up these graham crackers, it's gonna crunch up these Oreos and like, you handle it boss, like, I, I think I'm good over here. Literally, that would that would probably be me as well. Guys, comment down below what you thought about these entitled people who went overboard. If you ever had to deal with somebody who's entitled and they've gone overboard, I wanna hear your thoughts and stuff in the comments. Also hit the like and subscribe button. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time. Then, I'm sorry. You didn't like the other 22 ounces of it? Mm -mm, no. So we need to make you a frappuccino? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's cute. Okay. Please. You need extra caramel drizzle on that too? Extra caramel drizzle, please. It's good customer service. That's what, that's what it is. You're just waiting there like that? Like, isn't your arm Thank you. Hard?
You could at least turn around and get it from me. Yeah, there thank, you go. Thank you. Have a great one. You too. Why are you still filming yourself? Hold up. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Before I get into the rest of that, was he biting the top of the cup? Because I did not see a straw in there. He just like, mm. Oh my god, the pretentiousness in that video is just like through the freaking roof. Like standing there filming for however long, just his face waiting for the drink and then doesn't even have the respect to turn around and grab the drink. He's like, hand it to me, peasant. Like, really? Really? So this morning I worked at Starbucks and this lady, she comes in and she waits all the way again in the line, which I thought was weird. I asked to speak to a supervisor, which was me. And she goes, yeah, my like lid wasn't all the way on my cold brew and it spilled all in my car. So I have to keep coming in and getting napkins. My husband has to come and help me clean my car. And like it got in my hair. I have to get my jacket dry clean. She's going off. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm more than happy to replace your drink. We will refund you your money. Like I do apologize. Um, there's nothing else I can do, you know, like I've done everything that I can. This woman was still not happy. I don't know if she expected us to like go out and help her clean her car, which like, no. You're gonna come in and cause a scene because you spilled your drink in your car on your stuff. Like, that sounds like a you problem. Um, that's your fault. Like you shouldn't have picked it up by the f***ing lid. Anyways, so even after all of that, I refunded her money. She got a free drink, all of this stuff. Um, she's still emailed my district manager and tried to get me in trouble even though I had nothing to do with her spilling her drink. Wow. Imagine trying all that because you spilled your own drink. As soon as that, that cup leaves the establishment, they are no longer liable, okay? Yeah, my like lid wasn't all the way on my cold brew and it spilled all in my car. I missed the part where that's my problem. Everything else is on you, so note to self, don't grab your drink by the lid. Give me my coffee. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and call the cops. Give me my It's not on the ball. It's not on the ball. For us? Yeah. Okay. Wait, why don't we text our owner and see if they can come out here? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and take your car, okay? Go ahead and take your car. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and take your car. Yeah. Go ahead and take your car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 The guy, the one in the background really didn't have to butt in. Hey Toby, you suck! But also, the person in the car didn't have to be like that either. Like I get it, it's like the morning, and you want your like morning coffee, and you're like super grouchy, but like don't take it out on other people, okay? I don't make the rules. Just calm down and go about your day. If you don't get your morning Starbies, then like the world's not gonna end, okay? You will survive, grab a Red Bull, you'll be fine. So the other day I was working at Starbucks and I was on drive thru That was going pretty smoothly, it was not that bad. Not to mention we were mainly getting iced chais, which are the easiest to make. It takes like five seconds to make. I tell my coworker, oh, thank God we're only getting iced chais, right? And then the next guy comes up and he goes, can I get eight hot chais, extra hot, and a whole bunch of other things? Alrighty, so you want a hot chai? No, I want eight hot chais. Not to mention with a whole bunch of extra specifications. I clearly jinxed this one. The person behind them had about eight or nine items. When he gets to the window, he says, I need to talk to the barista that made these drinks now. I turned to the barista who made the drinks. They gave me the, because that was super creepy and they didn't want to talk to him. And I said, I'm sorry, they're working on a nine item order. Um, I can relay the message. And he just goes, you man. And then slams on his gas and drives away. Why? 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 It's a drink! Before- wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. How are you gonna order something extra hot? Can I get eight hot chais extra hot? Because you're not gonna be able to drink it. So you're just gonna like keep the cup in your cup holder and just like look at it longingly? I'm sorry, we'll be making a I waited! And you served the person after me! I don't want it! I just want my f***ing money back! Oh my god. If you didn't want to wait, you could have just ordered ahead. And then just pick it up in the store. I'm not waiting on a line. There are alternatives. If you know that you are in a rush, or if you're not a very patient person, you just go on the app, and then you type in your order, and you send it through, and then they make it, so you go and pick it up and leave. 
right? Simple as that. I just walked you through the entire process in this video. So next time, don't get so upset. Order ahead. Or just make your own damn coffee. It's not that hard. Oh my god. idea what she said. Not a clue. I did not catch a single word. It sounded like a gaggle of seagulls. That's all I got. I understand that she's upset and that she can really make her voice high pitched. Other than that, I have no clue what just happened. So if somebody wants to explain that to me, please do, because I'm confused. I just heard like in Charlie Brown, like when the adults are talking, it's like wah, 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 wah. like that's what I got. Okay, they want to make an issue out of, uh, today I bought some coffee today. And all I ask these guys, everywhere I go, to, every Starbucks that I go to, they always say thank you. Okay. It's just very professional. I know it's the second time I purchased this coffee from this individual over here. He refused. He refused. This is my this is my evidence. This is my evidence. Your behavior is my evidence. Your behavior is my evidence. Okay. Now, 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 today I asked them, why can't you say thank you? He's talking about something that happened last year. You're talking about something that happened last year, okay? What's your name? I'm talking about something that happened today. My name is Thaw. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I wasn't paying attention to the fight because I was paying attention to the two people who work at the Starbucks. Cause I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. <laughs> I saw the one guy in the back, like leaning up against the glass. I was like, oh my God, like he's kinda cute. And then like it pans over to the other guy. I was like, oh my God, he's kinda cute. And I completely zoned out of the conversation because it's something petty anyway. So I'm just focusing on the cute people in the video. And I'm not even gonna apologize for it. It was nice to see. I had a distraction from all the BS that was going on. All I caught was I asked them to say thank you and like they did it or something like that. That's so stupid. So I'm just gonna focus on the pretty people. I'm a pay to pay to. Uh, Give me my money back. Give me my money back. I will never understand why people get so heated over coffee. It's bean water. I don't give a about security. Give me my money. I'm not your. I'm not your. I will call my son to whoop your. Go ahead. You think I won't, mother? You think I won't? Give me my money back. You're trying to throw hands over a cup of bean water, whether it is hot or cold, or yes or no, or in or out, or up or down. It's still bean water. Beans, she just loves beans. Oh, a dog! Again, I know exactly what they're fighting over, but I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm gonna talk about the cute little dog, okay? Because that's what I was focusing on. He's just so fluffy and cute, and I just wanted to scoop him up and take him home with me. That's what matters to me here. I don't care about the debate that's going on. So, dog, dog content. Bite, whoa, 
I really hope that one day on this channel, we just get to react to dogs. I would pay to do that. I want to react to dogs. Give me something positive. Give me the puppers or the kiggies or something. Just animals. No more, none of this. No debates over hot bean water. Okay, whoo. I need to go and drink Red Bull because I don't have any bean water today because I forgot to make it ahead of time and I'm not going to Starbucks. Anyways, I will see you guys at some other point on the internet. Have a wonderful rest of your day, friends. Bye. So Occasion is not the word you want to say when you're about. No, no, don't record. I just want to make sure we're in 2021. Caucasian is not a good word to say. I'm not speaking for half of the people in here, but I'm mm. just saying, just don't, say, don't say that. Don't say Caucasian. No. Got it. <laughs> Caucasian is the best. This is the most on brand 2021 oh, ever, bro. Literally, I just got told a word I can't. I this is hilarious, my. Like, I'm not racist at all. I'm not That's saying you're racist. Man. Caucasian is a slur in 2021. You cannot say that. <laughs> no. I want to say this is not real, but I know it's real. I know deep down in my soul this is real. Oh my god. I feel like if I say it, then people are going to come for me. I'm like, I'm afraid. Like, am I going to get canceled if I talk about the caucasity? It's not, it's not a slur. It is not a bad word, okay? If you, when you're filling out a form and they ask for your race, Caucasian is an answer. So it's not a bad word. Wait, but I got a free pass because I'm half white. Oh, see, look at that. Look at that. See, you can't cancel me. Try, I dare you. Come for me. Oh my god, he said catch me outside. <gasps> like, and that's a stupid prank too. Like, you're just like leaning something up against a person. Like, oh no, I didn't see you there. Ugh. Like, that wasn't even a good prank. Get better content, okay? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Let's go. Take a video. Oh my god. Driver completely unfazed. And the guy yelling looks like he's like on the verge of crying because he's just so mad. Like, don't you have somewhere to go? Were you not driving for a reason? You just get back in your car. You don't have to be banging on people's doors and windows and stuff trying to get them out and, and fight them in the middle of traffic, okay? If this is rush hour, all right? People are just trying to get in their cars and go places. You're holding up the line, okay? Am I what? Legal? 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 Am I a legal American? I, I, I fought screen. for this country in the Jack U.S. Johnson, Air Force, sir. Why the hell would you think I'm not a legal American? Turn the f back around and don't talk to me. Am I a legal American? Are you? I have a military ID in my pocket I could show you right now. Racist. Period. Point blank. Period. That is how you shut down racism and bigotry. I love that. Like, I fought for this country. You want to see my ID? Turn around. Props to you. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Mind your business, sir. Okay? Keep your racistness to yourself. <laughs> racistness? That's not even a word. I just coined a new word. Racistness. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> Is that all for you? <laughs> it's fucking yeah! Oh no, get away! More cheese! More cheese! <laughs> it's pretty funny. Damn. I mean, he really didn't have to do her like that. Like that was that was a little uncalled for. Okay. 
that was that was a little that was a little too spicy for the situation. But I mean, she also came in like, where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? Like, there's no cheese in here, and then just like goes through it. Like, look, look, there's no cheese. Like, you, girl, do you not realize you're like digging up the cheese from the bottom? Like, you're mixing it. You you are tossing that salad. Okay, you're making the cheese yourself, or you could just suck it up and eat the food. But if there's a cheese shortage, huh? You're just reminding them of the fact that there's a cheese shortage. You didn't have to do that. You could have just mucked the food and left, and then complain to your husband or something, or like yell at your kids, because I feel like you'd do that, because like, care and energy, you know? <laughs> Where's the cheese? I don't know. Our phone back, please. You do not have the right to have my phone with you. That's our property. I'm asking for it back. Now you're violating our rights. That's our property that you're having a hold of. I don't say I'm not gonna waste my time. Yes or no? Give my phone back right now. Do you want to see a doctor? Yes or no? Give me the phone. I don't want to see the doctor today with you guys. No, I don't. I don't. Give me the phone then. When you go, I will give you the No, you give me the phone then we leave. How can we leave without the phone? And the door. I'll just go grab the phone. Oh, whoa, you're attacking me. Oh, that's assault. That is assault. Give me the phone and I won't press charges. If you don't give me the phone. Whoa. Okay, but why does she have the phone in the first place? That's what I want to know. How did she get a hold of the phone? Who let her have the phone? And why is she keeping it? And how, what does this have to do with a doctor? What? Do you want to see the doctor or not? What does it have to do with the cellular device? I'm confused. I'm sure there's some kind of backstory that you guys are gonna tell me about in the comments and tell me that I'm stupid because I didn't know, but like, I am not God. I don't know everything. So be, just bear with me, but I'm so confused. And did he ever get his phone back? And how was he recording? Oh, wait, hold up, wait, wait, wait. How is he recording if he doesn't have a phone? So you need to speak English. I'm sorry if I didn't have a phone. Well, I'm sorry about you too. Get the so now it's a just because what I look. Do you see that's the problem? No, that's I don't in have, you. That's I don't in have your any mind. problem. You're in America, we <laughs> need to speak English. Okay, what I'm what I'm doing? What do you, what do you think I'm doing? Yeah, what are you saying? I'm not racist. Hey, no, that's racist. This, is, this man takes care of me. You're going to get out of here. You're going to talk like that to him. Don't get out of here. Period. Thank you, chef, for coming in and, and putting a stop to that. And the fact that she's like, ah, I'm not racist. You're telling this person to get out of your country because they didn't speak English. But then they were speaking English to you. <sighs> not the popo. I, I can't touch that because. What? Sir, I did not uh, you are violate being you. Placed in quarantine. These are also quarantine test kits. You're not going to take them. Okay. All right. Now you just lettered into my truck. Oh my god. 14 days. Okay. You have to take your day one and two tests. You have been served several documents. Also, that mask does not mask uh, meet the federal requirements for masking. So the next time I'm giving you a warning on it today, the next time you come through, you'll be fine for having that mask. Okay. Did you know? Before, I have a few questions for you, sir. Look like at Joe. He has some snarky comments to make. Oh my god. He really said, you just littered in my truck. What? <laughs> you just littered in my truck? He gave you some COVID tests, bro. I, you have no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't We don't know me. who made it, so. You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we honestly don't know. Stupid ignorant. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the Bye. Okay, you can call corporate whatever you want. Goodbye. Do you understand? Give it to me right now. Uh -oh. What? Uh-oh. <gasps> I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Who are you? Immigrant loser. What? Whoa, he bringing out all the, oh, the hate. Oh my goodness. All over a beverage. Sir, if you didn't like the bad bridge, you could have just moved on with your day. You didn't have to be throwing it at people, okay? Just chill out, my God. You're really coming out with all the hate, all the bigotry, all the racism and everything else, like because of a, a smoothie. Like, did they put the wrong protein powder in there or something? Like, I'm so confused. Why? Pourquoi? That's it, that's all of it. Yeah, that's it, that's it. All right, well, that's it. I've been told that's it. Sorry, I gotta go. So I will see you guys at some other point on the internet. Have a wonderful rest of your day, friends. Bye. I never had a dirt bike, but I always wanted one. I, I felt like that would be pretty cool. Comment down below. You guys ever uh, drive a dirt bike? You ever drive a dirt bike, Chris? No, it does look cool, though. No? It does look cool. Yeah, yeah, for real, for real, yeah. I tend to empathize with the people when it comes to the food more. Like the coffee, the pizza, I'm like, 
I could see I could see myself doing that, man. Like, I just need my pizza. God damn it, it's a mass thing again. I hate the mass thing so much, man. But uh yeah, I mean that that, that was a situational one. We're gonna we're gonna pass that. I'm not I'm gonna avoid giving my full opinion on that because that's situational. I don't know how it went 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 down. Pain, just thinking about it. Jesus. Thank you. My milk isn't room temperature. I'm gonna call the manager. But, God, it's like, that's why I don't go to Starbucks, okay? That's why I don't go to Starbucks. I make my own coffee, and I call it a day. Starbucks, too much, too much drama. People are gonna roast me for that one, but like, I can't help it that they're hot. I don't know. Get better comedy, whatever you wanna call it. Cause that prank sucked. Maybe he should have caught you outside, how about that? Just resolve things yourself. Look inwards, okay? Turn the back, turn back around. I, props to you.